Who is Rick Still? Is he an actor? A comedian? Or is he a stalker? Ever since he was a child, Phil Hill has been looking over his shoulder at the eyes of a man Until early 2009, I was an intern for UFO Phil Hill at his home studio in Spokane, Washington. We had a falling out after I revealed sensitive personal information about him on the web and to local newspapers. On more than one occasion, I posed as UFO Phil over the telephone, on Facebook, and even one time in person. At least one of his fake interviews I gave ended up being published. In the interview, I told them that I was an actor playing the role of UFO Phil. This seemed to play into their hands perfectly because they had already been speculating around the internet that UFO Phil might be just an elaborate hoax. I lied because I was angry and hurt at the time. I can tell you from first-hand experience, UFO Phil is a real guy and his real name is Phil Hill, and he sincerely believes in the UFO phenomenon he exposes. Mr. Hill was born in Roswell, New Mexico. I know this for a fact because I had access to his personal documents during my time working for him. I saw the birth certificate and the social security card. Now I apologize from the bottom of my heart to Phil and anyone else affected by my actions. Sincerely, Rick Still. Why would he post this? Considering he's continued his attacks. Listen for yourself. Come on, Seamus. Get him, Seamus. Seamus, yes! What the hell? Who the hell's calling Skype? Petey, shut the door. Then the uh, Skype's going off. Man, this better be important. You know it's from the wrestling. Lower the TV. Dude, TV's going off. No, the Skype's going off. Lower the TV. Yeah, I'm going to get it all right. You're going to get it. Where's Collins? <clears throat> PSN Radio. How can I help you? Hey, it's, it's, it's Phil Hill. It's your Phil Phil. It's Phil! Uh, Pete, don't get mad. Uh, hold on. Uh, dude, we're watching We're watching wrestling. Let me uh, tell the guys I'm going to keep this lowered. I definitely want to talk to you. Hold on. Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to shut this wrestling down for a minute. Phil, what's going on, man? I just I, I wanted to talk to you since uh, I saw your post on Facebook. Uh, how's it going, man? Wait, what's happening? Um, well, it's kind of, everything's kind of really weird. It's really scary. I told you about this guy, you know, you know. Yeah, this this Rick fellow, this Rick fellow. What's going on? Look, I, I've I've been really worried all day, man. I've I was about to call the police to be honest with you, but I know that Zaxxon would get angry, and I don't want to anger Zaxxon if I involve the police. There. What's what's happening? I, I mean, I actually I I tried talking to the police. I went down to the police station, and they they say even though I have a restraining order against Rick Still, that they looked at the restraint, the actual document, and they said that it only prevents him from physically stalking me. Like, if he's online and doing the stuff that he's been doing, they can't, like, the, the police in Los Angeles can't do anything. So, are, are you, you're, cause, but how about cyber stalking, man? This is cyber bullying. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I need to figure out, because that. But those people, like, the cyber... Stalking stuff, I, it's like goes through the, through the FBI, and it's harder to get through to them, and they're they're really busy, and they're not 
they're just not responding to my calls, and I've tried sending them four emails. And it, things are getting worse, and I'm just... Dude, honestly, you know, the, the, this guy contacted me. I'm, I didn't tell you because, you know, I didn't want to, like, you know, get involved in whatever was going on because I thought maybe it was a prank or something. I, you know, didn't think much of it, but he contacted me a few months ago uh, telling me, hey, Jackal, this is the real, you know, UFO Phil, and I'm just, you know, I wanted to uh, reach out to you to maybe uh, do your show in the future and you know, come clean, and I was I was like, really? I know Phil. I've hung out with Phil. What do you mean? Yeah, and he imitates me. He, well, you know, he, he looks like me. He's only about an inch taller, and... It's kind of creepy. It really is. I mean, he shaves his head and everything. I know. I know. Actually, for a while, he, he wasn't. He was leaving me alone, and he was doing his own thing. And he was, you know, he grew like a beard and hair, and he was he was just leaving me alone, and he wasn't trying to look like me. But the problem is that he's back, and then the damage that he's done even in the past is still out there. There's interviews that are on, on the web that pretend to be me, but say, well, he's basically, well, can you keep a secret about uh, this. Of course, man. This won't leave, you know, you and me. Don't, yeah. He's, so I've known him since I was a kid. Right. And he's been following me, and he, what he's trying to do is make everyone think that I'm, like, like I'm a fake person or something. Like, he's me, and he's just pretending like he's being an actor and pretending to be me, and then people think that my cause and the things that I'm trying to accomplish are just a big joke. And he's ha the problem is he's having an effect and it's working. And a lot of people now have you seen my Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page about me? I, I did. What, what's up with that? I mean, you looked at to me. And you're like, look, look what he's doing. And I mean, he's like completely made you look like you're not a real person. I know, because he... Is he trying to, like, erase you? Well, I mean, it looks like he's trying to, like, take over your life, dude. He... Okay, so... I'm really... I'm going to look out the window, because I keep hearing noises. I'm really afraid. Uh, if he shows up and physically tries to harm me, then I can call the police. But... Phil, that's, that, 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 might, that might not be a bad idea. Have you thought about getting the police involved? I mean, I would say I go to Zaxxon, but, I mean, how much could he help? He's... he's I don't... He's Zaxxon can't get involved in certain things. Exactly. That's the problem. He can, I can go, I can go with him. I can go away if it really gets scary, but it needs to be as a last resort. And so what Rick still has done is, you know, he used to, for a while, he, it's a long story, but, and I know you know most of it, but he used to work yeah. for me in Spokane mm -hmm. and I had him doing my website and he was doing my social networking, and then he he edited my movie. He added himself into the credits, and then he he didn't even edit. He, he, didn't you tell me he didn't even edit all that much? It was like he did what, like two or three days on the production or something like that. Yeah, and then he put himself as a director, and he uh, wasn't even the director. I know. And then I just let it go because like. Didn't want to hurt his feelings because I'm always trying to be nice. Dude, to you're, you're, you're too nice, Phil. Honestly, and you, you have I, we've had this conversation before. You're way too nice to people, man. I know. Remember that guy who was saying uh, that he's your dad and he came back and just started taking money mm -hmm. from you. Remember that guy? Now we got this guy, Rick. I mean, when is it going to end? You got to start, you know, putting your foot down, man. More. I might have to come stay with you for just a while. Dude, I told you, we have an extra room down here in the pad in Florida. Come down. We'll take care of you. You know, Zaxxon is always welcome. To, you know, we have a good patio. We can, you know, chill in the back, have a couple beers. Nobody will bother you. Uh, and I really appreciate that. And I'm trying to be strong and deal with this, you know. And what's happening is he's having, he's making people not believe uh, the dog's barking. There might be someone outside. Let me uh -oh. look. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Don't be scared, folks. It's going to be okay, man. I got your back, brother. It's it's getting dark. It's, be, it's dark be outside. Be careful. Now. Make sure you turn on the lights before you go outside. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to close the window. Dog's going crazy.
be, be careful, Phil. Okay. My, my, so he, when he was doing my website, he set up a, a website for himself on my server for rickstell.com. And then that was fine because if you work for me, then I let you do whatever, you know, I'm nice. But he, then he got, he had all my passwords and stuff and he went, he started, he goes onto Wikipedia and he pretends to be these different editors and he changes things. And then he made his own Wikipedia page about himself, but he's not notable. He didn't, he's not, the only thing he ever did was he worked for me. And then he went on IMDb and he made himself have all these movie credits. But I don't think he did those movies. Yeah, he's supposedly in the Winter Soldier coming out of the Captain America sequel. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe it. Because he, this is what he does, and then he creates this illusion that he is doing all these things, and then to give himself credibility, he says that he's this actor who pretends to be UFO Phil. But I'm me, I'm me, and no one, like, I go to Wikipedia, and I send them messages, and I said, can you please delete this man's name, because he, it says on my Wikipedia that... He is me, and he's confused people, and now they don't believe me, and they believe has, him. I don't know how Wikipedia works, but has he bought your name on Wikipedia? Is that what he's done? I don't know. They, it's People can become, they can go on there and change things. Right. And if you do it long enough, then you get to be like a boss oh. or something, and then you can edit and change whatever you want. And so he's been doing it for like five years and so now he's Jesus he has all these different names these different identities on Wikipedia and he changes things and you can't like they just let him do it he has power on Wikipedia I'm looking at the uh, Wikipedia now Phil and this is uh, scary man uh, look at this Phil Rick Still Rick Still occupation singer performing artist of course Comedian, I don't know. You're not really a comedian. I mean, you're a great actor. I know I saw a movie, but I mean, you're, you're you're more dramatic. I think you you would be a great dramatic actor. Like I would love to see you in a movie, like opposite Meryl Streep or something like that. Well, and I wasn't even trying to be an actor in the UFO fell the movie. They were following me around. I know, but you were so natural. Pictures I'm saying. of my life, but and then there was a couple times where things happened and the cameras weren't on, and they said, "Oh, we wish that we would have." able to film that when it happened and then they asked me to to do it again and and then then i had to pretend that it was happening again and those couple of places in the movie were and i felt bad about it but those were fake but they really happened but it the cameras weren't turned on so we had right. to do it again and i felt bad but your but acting those was the only moments the acting was great though phil in those moments your fans right. loved it, but you know this is this is sick, man. I see instead of having your name created by Rick Still, I, I remember seeing this page not even a, a month ago, uh, Phil, and, and it had UFO Phil it had your name, Phil Hill. I know, and then he's suddenly just come back around. Now you're an alias. Alias is Phil Hill. Like really, you're just an alias I now. Know. I don't know what to do. He's ruining my credibility, and I'm trying to convince people about helping with the aliens because there's so much work to do. We have pyramids to build, and we have, I mean, I'm trying to... Phil, Phil, Phil. You know, you can... Do you think this has, anything, noise, do you think this has anything to do with the, what happened in Spokane? Hold on one second. There's a noise. Uh-oh. Okay. I think I'm Okay. Okay. This the I think uh, the Spokane when my compound got shut down. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did that because he. Well, I didn't realize oh it God. at the time, yeah. but he was jealous and he wanted just to to own everything. F Phil, you sent me a picture, and this is this creeped me out, man. I, honestly, I couldn't go to sleep till like three or four in the morning last night. You sent me that picture of yourself as a kid, uh, and in the background is he's also there in the same image and. He, he, even then, he was like trying to look like you. He shaved head and everything. Yeah, first grade. First grade, he was for a while. He had moved out to Roswell, and he was always. 
Did he bully you in school? Friend. Yeah, he he would hold me at recess. We had he would hold me down, my face down in the sandbox, and 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 beat me up. And no one would help me because they were afraid of him. Because he's like an inch taller back then. He was a lot taller, and then he had to leave and go back to California because he got in trouble, and they weren't going to let him stay in the school because he was bullying. And then I got I started getting letters from him from California, and he wanted to be my pen pal. And this is when they were, like we, I said, we were just kids, and he said he was sorry, and he changed, and that he wanted to be nice to me. And so we were pen pals for a long time. And then when I was I moved to Spokane, he needed a job, and I let him come up. Phil. I know, because I was, I'm too nice. Too nice, man. Too nice. Oh, my goodness. Look, I know this is going to be an awkward question, um, but you got to really think this uh, think this out real quick. Uh, do you think that there might be some kind of a sexual attraction going on here with this guy? I don't know. I'm just afraid of everything, and I don't know what he's capable of doing because I don't think it's that. I just think he wants to own my whole life. He wants to take credit for I think he's trying to get to Zaxxon through me. Everybody's trying to get to Zaxxon through you. Okay. But and and everyone can, but you have to be nice. That's the in the book of Zaxxon page. There's only two pages, and the first page is the table of contents, and the second page just says be nice. It's that simple. And if he can't be nice, then he can't. He can't, it, he can't visit you know, that, that one. That's what you told me, and it's actually, it. you know, you're right, because I just got a, actually, this past birthday, I got a gift from Zaxxon, which was really nice. He sent me a pair of blue socks with a blue bow tie. It was really, really cool. He likes, you know, you know he's like a Doctor Who fan, so, um, you know. I, that's I, great. I, and I think the only reason he did that is because, you know, thanks to you. You know, he, he knows about me now and stuff, and I was really Well, yeah, really because grateful. he knows you're my best friend. Exactly. So he, that was really cool. If you, if you, when, next time you see him, you know, I know this is, more important, but please say thank you for me because you know it's hard to get him messages. Yeah, I'll tell him he's really stressed out for me, and he doesn't want to get involved because if he starts coming down and talking to the police, then it just mess. That's makes not good. Messy. That's not good. Yeah, he can't be dealing on that level because he's Exxon. He's the leader of good aliens. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good, Phil. Uh, in fact, I, honestly. I, there's not really much he can do unless he gets physically involved, and I don't think Zaxxon's going to be down for that. So, I just want my if 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 Rick still comes to my house, I can call the police. But the online stuff, guys, I, I don't do you, know. How do to you guys have stand it. your ground out there? Do you have stand your ground like that? Because we have that here in Florida, the stand your ground law. Do you guys have that over there? Oh, not in California. Oh man, that's a shame. you can stand. You can stand there until he knocks you over. That's the law here. Yeah, no, that's not what I mean. It's different. Yeah, it's different here. If you know anyone who knows how to edit the Wikipedia to take his name out, that would really be helpful because people are starting to lose faith in me and lose faith in Zaxxon, and they think that everything is just a joke, and that's what he wants. So, if he can weaken me and my cause and he can destroy me, then he can take over and be the new UFO Phil and then build it back we, up again. But yeah, we can't, have, we can't have that. No, we can't. Dude, no. That, we're, that's dangerous right there. We're, we're, now we're talking about replacing UFO Phil with somebody else now, dude. No. I know. If I wanted to do that, I would just clone myself, but he's not my clone. Right. No, no, no. Uh, dude, I, when you told, when I you know, read this on Facebook and that kind of like got, got at you, I already put the word out for you about this to a couple of my buddies who are, you know, online hackers and really uh, into uh, doing stuff online that I don't really want to say publicly anywhere. But uh, these guys are good, if you know what I mean. And um, as soon as somebody tells me they know how to do Wikipedia, don't worry about it. We got you, bro. Oh, that'd be great. It would be great. Cause but I, if you I'm, wor go, I'm worried about you, man. I really am. I'll be okay. I've got the doors locked, and I'm just... I'll just call the police if he comes here. But it's just going to be... I hope they can get here fast enough. And if it, if, if it gets too scary, though, I'm going to call you back, okay? And I will get it. I will fly out there. You, you Look, if I have to fly out there, you let me know. 
okay, I, I hope it doesn't. I hope he just doesn't show up physically. If he just keeps doing the weird online stuff and trying to change my website and the Wikipedia and stuff like that, then at least I know that I have friends that can help me. But if he shows up here and maybe he has a, a big stick or something and then he could hit me. Oh, no. Phil, t- tell me you got something to protect yourself with, like a gun or a knife or, I don't know, a pair of scissors, clippers. I don't know. No, something? I don't. You know, I don't Fighters. have that kind of stuff. You know, I don't. Uh, I don't even. I don't. The only thing I would have is a butter knife because a steak knife oh. is too dangerous. You could hurt somebody with a butter knife. Aim for the eyes. I don't want to hurt anyone. Hey, if he's coming to hurt you, Phil, it's either you know your eyes or my eyes. That's the way I see it. I'm just hoping I can run away. I've got holes in like different places, like in the roof, and I just pop out the tile and climb up, and then I can run to the roof. Jesus, Phil. And I'll I'll take my phone with me and call the police. Make sure, I'll... Phil. Make sure you take a cell phone and not like a landline up there. Don't take like your your portable landline phone because uh, he could cut your part your phone line. I know you, you're one of the few people that still ha- insists on having a landline. That's a good point because I just noticed that the one I have right by the door in case of emergency was actually my landline, and I should probably move that and just have the cell phone instead. Because now that I think about it, that cord is not that long. Exactly. Okay. Wait a second. You said what? Anyway. Phil, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. This is, like, killing me, man. I'm going to be okay. You just do, you you get some sleep, and if I need to, if, if things get scary, I'll call you, okay? F- Phil, please, my friend, take care, and I'm going to be up probably not for the rest of the night worried so if anything happens call me immediately okay okay and you can call me too if you find out anything if he contacts you or if you hear anything or or, or just have a vision or or you know psychic you energy then you can call me and tell me i get those remember my name is angel espino e-s-p-i-n-o so real quick you know phil before you hang up on me um I don't really want to ask this to, you know, I don't want to be too pushy, but uh, remember a few weeks ago when we last talked, you said that one day you would tell me how to get a hold of Zaxxon uh, for whenever you're not around, if I needed him in an emergency. Uh, you said there was something that you could do um, that he would recognize as a signal and he'll be able to come down and, and help out. If you go missing, man, I'm going to have to contact Zaxxon somehow. What, what was the, the thing you, you wanted me to do? Because, I mean, I'll, I'll do it, man. I won't do it unless you go missing. But if I need to contact Zaxxon, what was the thing you told me to, to go and do in the bathroom that would get him down here? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Like I said, you got my word, Phil. I will never use this ever, ever, ever unless, again, you go missing and I need to, you know, go find you because okay. you can't have that, man. You remember uh-huh. Christmas? Yeah. Two years ago, I sent you that crystal, that that blue crystal. Yes, still have the blue crystal. Okay. Yeah. Don't lose that. That is actually a special kind of crystal that will dissolve in lukewarm water. So what okay. you do is you you fill up your tub halfway, not full, because then you'll have a problem. But fill it halfway with lukewarm water. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to email you the chant that you have to say. And you drop the crystal in while you're saying the chant, and it will dissolve in the bath water. And then these bath salts will turn the water blue, and then it will start to foam up. And when the foam reaches the top rim of the tub, and just before it spills over, Zaxxon will appear. Got it. I knew there was something special about that, about that crystal, man. I knew it. Yeah. Well, uh, but you, you need but you need the chant. You yeah. Don't don't like, forget to send don't me waste the... the crystal. Don't send me the. Don't forget to send me the email. I mean, you sure you don't want to just tell yeah. me because if, what ha, what if something happens and I don't uh-huh. hear back from you? No, I'll send, I'll send it right now. It's. I'm just afraid that if someone might be listening, they might hear me. Well, we're in a secure line. I mean, you 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 called the network line, so we're in a secure network here. All right. You. I don't know if you want to write this down. It's. I don't yeah, want you to forget. No, no, no. I'll type it. I'll type it on. In fact, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I, this thing, my network line records. Uh, it'll, it'll record. Don't worry about it. Just say it. It'll be recorded. Okay. 
so you put the you put the bath salts in the water and it turns blue and it foams okay. up and it's really pleasant smelling and it's really good for your skin. That's why Zaxxon has such wonderful skin because it does what he uses. Yeah. yeah, the blue bath salt crystals. And when it's foaming up, that's you have to say the chant. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Uh, and, and can you keep a secret? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is what you say. Zaxxon, take me away. Zaxxon, take me away. Yeah, but be careful saying it now. I know you know you don't you you don't running a bath, but okay. Just this, I know that's the crystal it? is somewhere nearby. Yeah, that's all you do. But just oh. don't say it too close to the crystal. It might activate. Okay. And then I, I don't know. It, it, it just make sure you follow the instructions very carefully because if you miss a step, it's like when you're assembling IKEA furniture and you miss a step, and then you have to mm-hmm. like take it all apart. Yep. Yeah. You don't uh, want to. It's a I, time waster. I hear you. No, I got the crystal exactly where you told me to keep it in back of the fridge in the kitchen. It's still there. It, it, no, 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 no. Oh, inside the fr- the back of the fridge gets too warm. You have to check it. Make yeah, sure the back, it the inside, but the back, of the, you know, inside of the fridge in the back. Oh, but it's inside. Right, and inside, yeah. Yeah, and hidden behind the milk. Correct, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I thought you... <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't need that. I don't need to be stressed out. No, no, I was good, really scared... Good. You know the back of the fridge gets really right. hot. The, with those coils, don't put it there. No, I, I remember you specifically said make sure the crystal stays in a cool, temperatured area. Yeah. Not under the fridge, inside of the fridge. You said, and okay. it's inside yeah. in the back of the inside of the fridge, inside of the back of the fridge. <sighs> You're really back of the scared. inside. You had me really scared. I'm sorry. I'm, buddy. You... I'm sorry. No. It's good. You you you've proven that you do follow directions, and so that's going to bode well for you when you actually go to activate the bath salts. Awesome, it's awesome. Going to be fine. I hope I never have to do it. Honestly, I, I hope we don't have to get there. But if, now at least I know how to get a hold of Zaxxon. Because uh, Phil, if you go missing, I mean, he's the only landline that I have really to you. Okay, I'm gonna go and have some food. I haven't eaten all day, and I'm gonna keep my cell phone in my pocket. And if I have to call you, I will. Call me. Okay, I, I got your back, bro. And I got people out in California. Anything happens, anything goes down, call me immediately, and I'll have my people out in your neighborhood in about 20 seconds. Thank you so much. I got you, brother. I got you. We're going to get through this, man. We're going to get through it, and don't worry about it. We're going to take care of this Rick guy. Sick bastard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. Thank All you, right. man. All right, brother. Okay, bye, man. Bye, man. Take care. Okay. There you heard for yourself the words of Phil Hill. A scared man, a traumatized man, a man in fear for his life. Is he being sent to an early grave? Is this man known as Rick Still, the devil himself? Is he really an agent of the NWO? Or is he the man in charge? The face behind evil. Rick Still.